pursuing it wholeheartedly. Um, it's actually an interesting connection that I have to Dan because um, uh, when I had started singing in the choir, with his, with his choir actually, um, my band had just broken up and I was really seriously contemplating giving up music as a, as a career, as a profession, and uh, Dan kind of dragged me out and was like, you're going to sing, you're going to do this, and uh, it's always been a really deep connection that I've felt to you because you got me really reinvigorated in music, and that's inevitably what pushed me to go to school down in L.A., and then being in school in L.A. taught me how to produce, which led me into this electronic music direction, so you kind of started the whole thing, <laughs> so, or at least you got me re-energized. project is particularly exciting for me um, just because, uh, as I mentioned before in previous work uh, with Dan, I kind of was able to uh, really fall in love with the sound of a collection of voices in a room, um, and so it was. I jumped at the chance to combine um, the electronic music that I love and um, the sound of, of women's voices. I, I feel like choral music is a huge influence for me in my writing. I always, um, my music tends to have really, really thick layers of vocals. I, of course, only work with my own voice, but um, I jumped at the chance to do this. And, and it's such an exciting fusion of two things that you wouldn't normally put together, two worlds that don't generally mix. So um, as an artist, I always jump at, at, at the chance to... Uh, make new things, new connections for people. Um, and I think this is an interesting opportunity to cross over and get maybe people that are into choral music into electronic music and vice versa. Wanting it 